This was me during college. I was literally drowned by my readings. Hi, the lonely book in here. In this video, we are discussing what you should avoid while reading, things that you should start doing before you read, and finally, techniques that will help you read faster. Ideas inspired by the book, 10 Days to Faster Readings by A.B. Marks Beale. Let me ask you a question. When is the last time that you've trained your reading? If you're like me, I had the same reading techniques since I was in elementary school, and that's exactly why I was slow. I never updated my tools. Let's start by things that you should avoid. First, don't put pressure on yourself by thinking that you should memorize everything you read. Anyways, most of the things that you read will be stored as short-term memory, therefore erased. Your main goal is to get the concept or the idea. Next, stop sub-vocalizing, meaning that you're reading the word out loud in your head. Since our talking speed is only averaging 150 words per minute compared to a brain that can process 400 words per minute. A good trick to avoid that is to chew gum. Finally, avoid passive daydreaming by choosing a quiet place where there is no distraction around you. Then, practice active mind wandering. While reading, associate new concepts with things that you already know. Now, let's get to things that you should do before you read. Start by skimming the text and get the main idea. Do it by looking at the headings, the subheadings, the photos, the diagrams, the formulas, the bold text or the larger fonts, and then read the summary, if there is one at the end of the chapter. This is going to help your mind warm up for the subject. Next, get in the habit to prioritize your lecture. Know what to read and what to skim, by always going to class and take notes of what the teacher emphasized on, and you will generally know what is more important. Usually, the important lectures are from a particular textbook and the rest is supplemental, which you can skim through. Before reading something, always ask yourself, why are you reading it and what kind of information can you get from it? Time to learn some techniques. Step 1. Use a pen or your finger as a pacer. At first, it will help you spot the important word, and then with practice, you will use it to force your eyes brush quickly through the text. Step 2. Focus only on the important words, typically those who are longer than three letters and skipping over the rest. Here's an example of what you should see if you focus only on important words. Start, War, Europe, Generally Held, September 1st, 1939 Beginning, German Invasion, Poland. Step 3. Use a peripheral vision to stop your eyes on thought group and if your eyes normally stop 6 times per line, try to reduce that number by 1. Here's an example of thought group that your eyes will stop on. It was generally accepted at the time that the war ended with the armistice of 14 August 1945. Step 4. Control your eyesight while reading. Try to start and stop an inch before the end of each line to avoid wasting time on the blank margin. And don't come back to reread once you went through it. Finally, at the end of each page, try to recall as much information possible. And remember to repeat the exercise after each page. Step 5. Practice and practice. It gets worse before it gets better. Relearning a new skill will feel frustrating at first, but if you just stick to it, it will be rewarding. When practicing, take a break every 20 to 30 minutes or when your eyes or brain feels tired. In no time, your eyes will be brushing through the lines. Let's recap. To read faster, you will need to get rid of old habits that slows you down. Then, know what needs to be read and what to skim. Finally, practice thoroughly speed reading techniques. The verdict. I find the book really helpful and I wish I had read it during college. Although it's a bit long, there are some good insights. And I also put a link below so you can test your reading speed before and after. And like always, if you like the video, please subscribe, follow, and like. And I hope I brought you one step closer to your brighter self.